Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, so web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. In this tip, let's talk about what is code first approach. Whenever we talk about services, whether it's SOAP web services, RESTful web services, there is always a service provider and a service consumer. The service consumer would send a request and the service provider would send the response. And service consumer would need to understand what kind of request to send, what are the different headers he can send, where to send this request to. So he needs some documentation to do that. That's basically what is called a contract or a service definition. In the code first approach, what we would do is we would write the code first and then generate the service documentation out of it. What does that mean? For example, we have generated Swagger documentation for one of these services. So if you look at the Swagger documentation, it defines what are the different resources which are present. It defines what are the different operations that you can perform on each of these resources. But thing is, this Swagger documentation was not really written by hand. What has happened is we implemented our service first. What we did is we implemented all our resources first. You can look at user resource, user JPO resource, and all the methods which are present in here. You can see a get mapping to users. So all these services are present in here. And what we did is we documented the service using something called Swagger config. What happens? is this configuration generates the documentation looking at all the resources which are present in there. One of the important things about Swagger is it allows you to customize the documentation as well. So you can add annotations saying, whenever you see a user, put this into the documentation. So it says all details about the user. So if I go to the definitions and look at user, you'd see at the bottom all details about the user. And also you can see in here, API model property, name should have at least two characters. And the same thing is present in here as well. What we are doing is we are writing code and we are write, adding annotations on top of the code to provide more documentation information. This approach is what is called a code first approach. You're writing the code first and you're generating the service documentation from your code. Do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics. Until I see you in another In 28 Minutes video, here's bye from the team here at In 28 Minutes.